Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here, Adam Off-Road. Thanks for stopping by and checking out today's video. Uh, today we're gonna be installing Highline fenders. I'm super excited to get these installed. Let's get to work. So these are the fenders. I really like these fenders a lot. Um, I found them on Amazon and basically we have to make some modifications to the existing fenders for these to bolt up to the body or the tub. So um, I'm kind of walking through what I've already got done so far. We're just at the point to where we need to start cutting and I've masked off all the areas that we're gonna cut. So I'm gonna cut on the inside of this tape and come all the way along, down all the way to the end. And then I'm gonna cut here and basically open this up and then unbolt because there's some bolts behind this wall. We're gonna have to remove those bolts I've already removed these four bolts here and I'll show you here in a second what those bolt to and there's also three bolts right here we're gonna leave that one alone and remove these three bolts so I've got all the hardware set up tape masked off electrical off to the side and you'll see me in the next segment making some of these cuts stay tuned Okay, so on this side, I forgot to mention, you will have to take out your battery and move all this electrical stuff out of the way. You do not want to cut any of your electrical, so move that out of the way. We're just going to go ahead and make some very shallow cuts along these lines. So let's get to work. Now this is cut and it's cut all the way down. I was able to pull back on both sides and remove that bottom bolt by hand. And I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the other three. And basically we could separate this side panel from the body of the tub. All right guys, the fenders are on. Let me turn you around and we'll just go ahead and talk about it a little bit. All right, so I have them somewhat complete but incomplete. There's some gonna be some hardware that is missing. You'll see that in the final setup. Um, I still have to uh, get some hardware on here, but uh, I'll, I'll mention that later on. Let me go ahead and open up this hood. All right, so let's just talk about the nuts and bolts about the fenders real quick. Um, I was kinda, uh, a little bit disappointed in here and I kind of almost gave up installing these fenders because when I started bolting up this part this part would be way off and vice versa and then I started realizing you know what maybe it's the uh, radiator support and grill unit that I need to maybe loosen up some hardware and adjust that so this will fit so I ended up loosening up this bolt here this bolt here um, all these bolts I got them all loosened up and I was actually able to move this grill just enough to where everything started lining up here. You're going to see these three bolts and um, those four bolts. Now I've only got two of these ones on both sides installed. Actually I have three on the other side. For whatever reason these two didn't line up so I'm going to have to um, put some through bolts with some nuts on the back side. I just haven't got to it yet but that's going to be um, over there. To get to these bolts I only actually got the top two and I was able to get those from, from back here. There was a bottom bolt right here on the other side of this wall. You can get to it from under here. Let me take you down there. And you can get to those from here. There's a really tight space to get in there, but it's definitely doable. It just takes a little bit of effort. Once I got all the hardware bolted up and, you know, it, it may take some time to get these maneuvered and fit up just right. Just take your time and, you know, uh, it will all definitely come together eventually. And then once everything was tightened up, I tightened back these up. I got all the hardware and everything tightened back up we ended up having to drill some new holes. So if you can remember where we cut the existing fender, 
it's going to stick out enough to where you're going to make some drill drill some holes and i ended up drilling four out of the five i didn't want to drill this one because there wasn't enough meat i actually cut it too short but like i said again this is my mistake is your education on this part guys so I only got four out of the five holes. That's not a big deal. This all gets covered up by the hood. And then I was able to get the three holes for this latch. Yours may be different, but I was able to get the three holes using the template underneath um, the existing fender underneath and then drill, drill, drilling from the bottom up. So that was that for the hood latches. So that's pretty much um, the setup here. Once everything was bolted in and I really liked how everything bolted in, got all the bolts nice and tight, um, I proceeded to cut up the electrical. I uh, spliced the new lighting that comes with the fenders to the existing harness. It was a black and yellow for the positive and then the black wire or the green wire was the negative for the lighting. and. Um, Yep, I didn't have to have any load resistors or anything for the wiring. Both sides wired up just fine. And uh, the blinkers look really good at night. But that's going to be overall the end setup for these fenders. So guys, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I really enjoyed installing these. There was um, times where I just got frustrated. But just take your time and, and everything will come together. But uh, everything came out really good. I really like this look. So I'm, I'm uh, super impressed with the outcome. The more and more I look at it, it definitely, definitely, um, I, I like it more. Just have to finish these little guards on the sides. But that's going to be it. Uh, thanks for staying to the end of this video if you liked it. And uh, if you like this in little install project, hit the like button. Consider subscribing. Check out some other videos that may be helpful to you. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.